Here we're seeing the animal rescue team from SeaWorld Orlando. They've got a few scientists from Dolphin Island Sea Lab and the Fish and Wildlife Service with them. And they're circling a manatee right now, dropping a net out the back of the boat. You can see the buoys holding the net up. And they're moving pretty quickly, trying to make sure the thing doesn't escape. And it's essentially like a big gill net. And here they are now, pulling it in. The fellows in the water got in to scare the manatee away from the boat, where it might have slipped through a gap in the net. And you see it over here on the right of the screen. There's its head popping out of the water. And now they're trying to tug it into the boat. And if you've ever heard the rumor that manatees are just completely peaceful and docile, try getting one in a net. Uh, this this female went nuts, essentially, and you'll see that in just a second. Um, she starts really slashing the water with her tail. Incredible amount of power in that big tail, as you're going to see. Now, it looks like they're about to get her out of the water right here. You see her tail come up out of the water, and that's her main means of locom locomotion. Once they get it under control, she can't really get away. So right here, there they go. They got the tail out of the water. Things look good. But then she did that. <laughs> Tremendous thrash and actually broke out of the net. So they had to uh, pull up and circle the manatee all over again. They've got her here now, back in the net. And they're pulling her up on board. You see she almost tugged that guy in. And there's her head. And once they get her head up out of the water, you see her thrashing. Incredible strength. This animal weighed 1,020 pounds. And there she is on the boat. Now they're about to, that piece of wood you see coming back is actually the transom of the boat and they're going to try and get in because they just added a thousand pounds of the boat, of weight to the boat and they're worried about it filling with water and potentially sinking. So they got the manatee in the boat and they pulled over to shore where they could do some measuring. Uh, they actually weighed it and took various tissue samples and DNA samples. And here you see them struggling with it trying to get it out of the net. They roll it over on the side and they're pulling that out from under it and then they're going to drop it back down which they're about to do and right now they're marking where the internal organs are uh, using chalk you'll see the orange marks on the animal's body in a minute and there's his head to the left of the screen and here they go they roll it down and you'll see some propeller scars on its back there and these were fairly shallow according to the scientists but you can see it's clearly a boat propeller churned along on its back there's some other marks on the other side of it which you'll see in a minute, uh, that probably were a little older. There they are on the left of the screen. Uh, and those are healed up probably by about a month, the scientists said. Uh, still a little blood. And there's its face. Tiny, tiny little eyeball. You see that red line to the left of the screen? That was actually its blood being drawn. And here they're inserting a tag inside it, just like you put in your dog or your cat. So if the manatee gets captured again, they can wave a scanner over it and they'll know which manatee it, it is and where it was last seen. And there's a little antibiotic. And after all that, they put a big tag on it about the size of a volleyball. And there's its head. And here comes its tail. And this was the last we saw of it. Disappeared underwater and was later seen a few miles away. And gone.